Hello everybody, I'm Dude here from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to Hearts of Fire 4 A to Z Kaiser Redux Edition, where today we're taking a trip right to the heart of Africa, to the Congo. So let's hop on in and see what we can get up to. So here we are, the Congo Vrijstad. I've definitely pronounced that incorrectly, but we are currently ruled by PR Reichsman. We have three national spirits. We have barely holding on, widespread defeatism in the FP and the Iron Cross looms over the Congo. The only focus we can take right now is restore stability in the Force Publique, however that gets rid of widespread defeatism in the Force Publique. So yeah, recruitment population factor is going to increase by 70%. And then we also have a little event chain that is going to follow the Mawami and uh, Reichmann's regime for the time being and how disastrous it's going to be for Reichsman. Um, but basically, the Mawami is playing his hand, and they have stormed the city of Kamina in the southern district after killing its uh, garrison. So yeah, it's time for us to ask the Germans for aid in helping with this matter. However, the Germans come back and, well, they don't even give us an answer. They just refuse to, to listen to us and don't actually care. So yeah, we are left to our own devices. So Von Epp has now entered the picture, and his party, the NKR, as they are officially denouncing Reichmann's administration and they have begun to openly and actively campaign against it in favour for Von Epp to become the next Governor General of the Vrijstadt. The Siege of Kamina has also begun now with our forces taking position around the city. The plan however somehow miraculously works and the supply lines were cut off to the city and the forces within have been starving for weeks now resulting in them starting to salvage the city for anything to help them survive, which is turning the people within against their occupation. And our forces have decided to charge at the disorganized lines, and our loyal troops of the Force Public have crumbled the immorally broken natives and have forced them to retreat from the city. So even though we're victorious, the city of Kamina is now going to have to go through a long period of reconstruction as the city has been completely devastated by this event. Um, and across the colony, Reichmann's regime has received nothing but backlash and criticism over it. And finally, after a long cleanup operation and reconstruction campaign, the city of Kamina has largely been restored. However, the outrage against Reichmann's regime is still raging. And just when you think things have finally started to calm down for us, the Great Leopoldville Riots have begun. And along with the riots, Black Monday has also hit the Congo, which is resulting in our economy collapsing, causing us to gain consumer goods factories plus 50%. Well, 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 the time has come. It's time to say goodbye to Pierre Reichmann and the mistakes he has made for the Congo and replace him with Franz Ritter von Epp, the hero of the Velkraig and the colonial veteran. So obviously things are going to change with um, Von Epp's ascension to power as the Governor General of the Vrijstadt. Uh, it does appear that we gain a good few generals here as well as a field marshal. And, um, sorry, one of the generals is Martin Borman. Oh my days, he actually, yep, we now have Martin Borman as a general. Well, I find that absolutely hilarious that we now have Martin Borman as one of our generals. He is going to be our main guy for this playthrough. I don't think I pointed out why I chose to support Middle African integration. It's because we do need to become German Central Africa because completing that focus makes sure that German rule holds on even if Middle Africa proper does not. So if Middle Africa collapses, we are fine. We will survive. We will have our civil war, but we will be okay. So the fate of the Black Heart of Middle Africa. We have a choice here. We could keep the status quo. We could become German Central Africa, like we need to. Or we can, you know, be totally integrated into Middle Africa. Why you choose the third option, I'll never know. But I'm going for the second because we need to choose that one. Well, the Mwami has appeared back after obviously the confrontation in Kamina at the start of the game he has declared his outrage at the letter that we sent him stripping him of his titles so yes looks like things are going to kick off again and we are now marching on Bunkia which is the city he's holed up in which is just down here in a demilitarized zone oh of course he's fled once again so he's realized that his position in Bunkia was indefensible and he has retreated to the old fortress at Munema, Munema. Um, so yes, we will offer him one last chance to surrender, or we're storming the fortress. And the final assault 
on Bunkeya has occurred and Mwami is no longer a problem for us. The demilitarized zone is no more. Oh my, oh my days, the second Valkyries kicked off on September 38th thanks to Bologna of, of all of all places. Um, cool, well, I, I guess we'll just get called into that then. Wait, what? Middle Africa just called us into the bush war? Right, right, sh sh surely peace is going to be upon us very soon. Goring has popped up, and there we go, there's the civil war. We will stand by the Germans in Ep. Oh, thank heavens for that, I'm now at peace with the Internationale. So that's one less thing to worry about. I did think we are going to be a spot of bother there and not actually be able to peace out with them. So that would have added an unnecessary layer of complications to everything. Okay, things are going relatively well for us, actually, all things considered. That's the capital there, that needs to fall. Perfect, we've dealt with the mercenaries now, down to the last two, and then we've just got to take down Goring as well. Perfect, south of the Congo is now secured as well. Oh my days, the Third International actually sucks, man. They actually suck. Oh my days, Obama took out Goring. Seriously? Well, he's going to be an interesting nation to take down, isn't he? Hey, at last, Leopoldville is gone. We have officially united the nation. The colonial order holds true, so we gain post-war devastation and we gain another event. Germans pacify the Congo. I, I honestly cannot believe the French commune is dead already. And somehow, there's troops in the Walloon Communal Republic still fighting with Legion Hasselt. Ah yes, what is the future for the German Congo? Shall we push for Von Epp's ambitions and past Germanic glories? Reclaim the lands of Middle Africa for the Kaiser in Berlin? Or we must face it, we are effed, dig in and hold the Congo at all costs. Well, I believe it's time for Von Epp to push t put his ambitions forward. An infuriating letter. A letter arrived in the Kaiser's office today, enclosed in a black envelope sealed with the red wax symbol of Kaiser's hand, Franz Ritter Von Epp. He's been long friends. Warm correspondence from his old companion. Instead, the Kaiser's eyes were met with the hostile words and damning accusations of incompetence, for Von Epp had finally had enough. Forsaken his Kaiser in his homeland, Von Epp has announced that in the wake of Middle Africa's collapse, he is turning his back on the Kaiserick for good. Instead, Von Epp seeks to chase his own desires and ambitions with his new fiefdom in the Congo, fully renouncing his oath of loyalty to the German crown. Well, it's time for our first bit of expansion. We're taking on the anti-Goring Pact, who should not really be that much of a hassle for us at all. Well, I have to give it to the Union of Britain. They're trying their hardest to keep going here. They've managed to take out Portugal. They are struggling to deal with Ireland from the looks of things, and the French own a tiny little bit of southern France. So Von Epp has just had a nice wee trip to see the Pope, and he has been given a gift from His Holiness. So um, we're going to go ahead and elect our new Holy African Emperor. We have five choices. Rupric of Bavaria, uh, Alexander Dulamanga Bell of the Natives, Von Epp himself, the young Prince Baudouin of the Belgians, and to appease his allies, Von Epp's lackey, loyal lackey, Hermann Fingerlein. Um, I I feel like it's just got to be Von Epp. It's just got to be Von Epp. Yes, look, I'm Franz the First. How could I not have chosen? Well, Nairobi has already fallen, so I think we're. Uh, Doing much better against Obama than I thought we were going to. Well, that's Obama dead, so we'll go ahead and annex all that. We do have Madagascar to deal with, but we will we will get to them. We'll just go ahead and take a wee little detour to deal with a couple of nations over here. Onwards, men. Time to take out our next nation. This better not bring the Entente against me, otherwise I'm not going to be very happy. The final battle. I, I'm not German Middle Africa, you fools. Because we're actually doing fine down here anyways. We're, we're already pushing very nicely. Longway is now the capital. Obviously, Malawi in today's world. Well, we've secured the Longway now. Um, it would appear that we might get through this without the Entente actually coming in. And it looks like King Edward's disappearing anyways. On to Cameroon and the Re People's Republic of Umbanji Shari. Let's go ahead and deal with both of them. We'll just simultaneously declare war on both of them at the exact same time and just deal with them at the exact same time. Well, Cameroon is no more. We just got to finish off a couple more nations and I think we should be able to proclaim the Glorious Empire. 
Perfect, the Nigerian Free State is gone. So I think that really just leaves... Yeah, the two in the south. And then obviously we'll have to deal with Madagascar, but that's going to be fun, isn't it? Well, we've declared war on both of them simultaneously, so... Should be over relatively quickly. As long as we can get through this narrow passage before they can reinforce. Sorry, Germans in Sudwest Africa, but you are not allowed to be here anymore. Well, there goes uh, Sudwest Africa, so I'm hoping. Damn it, we can't. It must be I have to f finish off Madagascar and actually annex. All right, that's that's fine. I don't fully understand what has occurred in Tur. Ah, right, Greece is the Entente, and Turkey's been destroyed for by them for some reason. Well, let's see how fun this is going to be invading Madagascar. Oh my god, I already do not like the look of this. Well, I have to say, I never thought I'd see the day where I use a floating harbour. Yes, that's right, there is a floating harbour being used. Okay, we have a good southern landing, let us just push forward. The floating harbour will keep us afloat, ironically. Okay, we are slowly but surely pushing up the island now, which is good. Goring's about to be coming in in an order invasion very soon. Oh, we're laying siege to the capital, we've taken the capital, we're about to get a... Maybe a juicy encirclement here. And it looks like Goring is... Oh, I was going to say landing, but he's not. Well, Borman is about to land in the north. He has landed from the north. I think Madagascar should be down and out. They've lost 144,000. There we go. Annex it all. Wait, why is this all opened up now? Because I've, I've, I've done all this. Well, I believe it's time that we uh, give the Entente a little... I don't know, little invasion, I suppose. I have rapidly grew my army's size. We are a little bit in deficit of equipment, but it will nonetheless do us ah, no hardship, really. Um, the Dominion of West Africa will fall, and the Portuguese will fall as well. Um, sadly, the Spanish have joined the Entente, so we'll have to deal with them as well. And obviously, we do have... Well, the Entente's not ridiculously strong, but we will deal with them in time. Ah, I did not realise the Russians were also at war with, uh, with the Canadians and the Entente. I shall go ahead and sign non-aggression pacts with absolutely everybody if it means that I don't get invaded. The likelihood of someone invading me is very slim anyways. Well, we've almost secured all of uh, the South Territories that were held by Portugal. In fact, we should be mopping up the rest of those very soon. Well, the Dominion of West Africa's gone now, so... Wee little pockets of French divisions that we can deal with. I am moving some divisions to push up the way. Completely forgot about that little part of Spain. It's alright, Borman can deal with them. Okay, we managed to break through the Sahara Desert crossing. So we are laying siege to the north of Africa right now. I might as well just push the rest of those troops as well. Okay, Borman has reinforced... Um, Herman's troops, so we should hopefully be able to break the French now. Well, the Entente's influence in Africa is very, very close to being gone. Okay, just need to secure Oran, and then that should be the French dead. Unless I have to take the tiny little bit of France they have over here. Well, the siege of Oran is underway. It's going to take a wee while, I think, to break them, but I think we'll just go with an aggressive push if we're able to. Oh, finally it's about to fall. Oh, goodbye France. Eh, uh, Germany? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, they must have wanted Gibraltar. Well, that's, that's one way they go about getting it. I hadn't really planned on helping the Germans this game. Not, not gonna lie, but we're here and we might as well help them push forward. Well, the Spanish are in a bit of a problem. I'm hoping that if we can help capitulate them, the Entente's gonna lose a lot of troops over here. Well, we're very nicely pushing to the last couple of ports that are controlled by the Entente over here. Like, we are very close to taking them all. Cadiz is the last. Oh well, doesn't help the Spain's dead now, so all the forces that remain over here are dead. Well, I feel like it's a time that uh, the Third International were completely dealt with once and for all. Okay, we have landed in Ireland. We shall liberate it from the Union of Britain and then we will go for the mainland. Well, there we go, Belfast has been secured. New Britain has 37 to 72 divisions left. Okay. Okay, our naval invasion failed of Liverpool, so we did just take a lot of casualties there, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Well, the push is going pretty well for us, actually. For the most part, I'm hoping that we can 
unite the fronts very soon. We have potentially a large encirclement on the cards here. Yeah, only a matter of time before they're finished off. Yep, for London. There we go, the year Britain is no more. Well, I'll have to say, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. I'm not going to try and take down America and Canada. That's going to be more pain than it's actually worth. We have secured our position in Africa. We've got, basically, I'd say maybe two-thirds of the continent. We also obviously have South Africa as a puppet now. I would love to take down the Kyraxis, but I think it's also going to be a pain to do so. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that. But we also did get... Scotland, England, and Wales, just to add some cursedness to the top of this, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call this. But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very, very soon for another video. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye, then out.